today, the Amazon River is one of the mightiest rivers in the world. It comes first in terms of water discharge, where it discharges around 1,700 cubic miles of water per year, and it debatably comes second in length, with a length of around 3,977 miles. But one of the most interesting things about the Amazon River is that it used to flow west towards the Andes Mountains, as opposed to today when it flows east towards the Atlantic Ocean. So in today's video, let's discuss how we know this, and how it is possible. The main evidence we have that the Amazon River flowed backwards is from a series of sediment samples. The first of these samples was observed by geologist Russell Mapes, and he was trying to study how fast sediment from the Andes Mountains flowed into the Atlantic Ocean. However, while he was studying this, he discovered sediment that was deep into the western portion of the Amazon, and the sediment had to have come from the eastern edge of the continent. And this sediment was from around 145 to 65 million years ago, placing it in around the Cretaceous period. And this suggests that during that time period, the Amazon River had to have flown towards the west. So since rivers have to flow from high to low ground, this suggests that there had to have been an old mountain or highland range on the eastern coast of South America. And these ancient highlands that the Amazon River flowed from were formed when the continent was breaking away from the African continent. Violent volcanic eruptions were splitting these continents apart, and they formed ancient mountains on the eastern portion of the South American continent, as you can see here. Now, as I mentioned before, the ancient Amazon that flowed west formed around 145 million years ago. And so at the time when these mountain highlands were formed, the river wouldn't have existed, as this diagram is suggesting. But around 145 million years ago, the ancient Amazon River formed and flowed into the Amazon Basin. However, it is unclear exactly where it flowed into on the western edge of South America. It's possible that it could have flowed into the Pacific Ocean because the Andes Mountains are said to not have formed until around 65 million years ago, which gives it around 100 million years of history. However, as we can see in this rough diagram, once the Andes Mountains started to rise, it is suggested that the Amazon River flowed into some kind of sea or large channel that eventually led all the way north into the Caribbean Sea up here. But now let's jump to around 23 to 15 million years ago during the Miocene period. By this period, the ancient highlands where the Amazon River originally flowed out of had been eroded and basically did not exist at this point. And during this period, new highlands formed, and these were named the Purus Arch. And this arch is said to be a graben. And what a graben is, is essentially a type of fault where two parallel regions have been depressed in the landscape, leaving an area in the middle that is higher than the grabens below. And so this is what the Purus Arc is suggested to be. It is suggested that the land around the Purus Arc got depressed, leaving an area where the Amazon River could not break through. And this left the Amazon River split into two. One of them took the modern course of the Amazon River, flowing from the Purus Arc into the Atlantic Ocean. However, the other stream that was split in half basically had nowhere to go because the Andes had grown even more at this point from the collision between the Nazca and South American plate. So this left a huge wetland ecosystem known as the Pabus Wetlands. And the Pabus Wetlands had a very interesting ecosystem consisting of mollusks and crocodile species. And there's a video about it that I suggest you watch. The link to that will be in the description. And it just talks about the unique ecosystem of this area. This channel flowing north into the Caribbean Sea is actually noticeable today in the form of Lake Maracaibo. This lake is really the only remnant left of this ancient channel because the rest had been drowned out from the continual growth of the Andes Mountains. So now let's move on to the last period of this Amazon history. So around five to two million years ago, the Pabus wetlands actually drained to the north because of lowered sea levels due to it being a major glacial period in the Northern Hemisphere. And also around this period, the Amazon River was able to break through the Purus Arc because it had significantly eroded away at this point. And so this has finally led the Amazon River to flowing from the Andes 
to the Atlantic Ocean that we see today. And so I just think it is crazy how all of this geologic history was discovered because a small amount of sediment was discovered in this western area. And so while not much evidence is left of this ancient Amazon River flowing towards the west, apart from Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela here, it is just crazy to think that the Amazon River looked very different in history. But that's going to be all for today's video. If I taught you something new, please subscribe to my channel, and if you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next video.